Hi, I'm Tamara. I'm personal wellness hacker. Hi, I'm Tash, a play therapist working with children. So every Friday, we're going to be posting out Chaos to Calm or Frazzle to Dazzle. And this Friday, we've chosen Chaos to Calm. And the subject matter within this field is going to be how do we not feel affected by what others might say to us. So we're going to both share an example that we've experienced recently. And then on the back of that, how we manage to either fix it or sit with it or flow with it and how we brought ourselves back into that grounded, calm state rather than spiraling off into that chaotic state. So I'm going to let Natasha share hers first and then I will go after. Brilliant. So yeah, for me, I think it's all about this week not taking on other people's stuff I think you can go so long with like people going oh I just had this today or I had that today and I've had a lot of people this week try and dump their stuff on me mm. and therefore I found myself dumping it on my girls so actually it's it's about that's not right it's not my stuff anyway let alone to calm it throw it on them and I think I felt flat this week and interestingly so of my girls and it just proved to me that you don't realize sometimes that your own energy can transfer mm -hmm. onto them mm -hmm. so yeah we had a really difficult day yesterday with well one of the girls not both of them like really struggling and actually she let her emotions over spill which is absolutely okay because it showed me that they were not only her emotions but also mine and that I wasn't containing myself and actually I'd got myself into that chaos rather than finding a way to keep myself calm so she actually, wasn't feeling we safe because you weren't feeling safe yeah absolutely mm -hmm. so we had to completely reset ourselves last night but I'm working away this weekend so I knew I couldn't leave her feeling in that chaotic state so we just reconnected and retuned ourselves to who we are. And we read the most amazing book, that if you haven't got it, The Invisible String, and just showed each other that no matter where we are in the world or what we're doing, this bond and this string is always going to be there. And that just allowed us both to go, huh, we've got this. Doesn't matter where we are, how far apart we are, we're connected. And that mm. calmness is between us. And then all of a sudden, we were both like, ah, and you saw her whole body language go, I've got this, mummy. And then I could go, I've got this, Tash. And we could reconnect and go on. And That's she's had so a beautiful. much better morning from what I've been told today. Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? So it's just all energy. And that's really where the stuff that yeah. I do comes into play of really resonating with everything is energy. And at any point in time, energy can be shifted. Emotions can be moved. And by shifting Absolutely. energy and moving those emotions and processing them and releasing them, we get to rebalance and re-energize. And I've experienced this week, overwhelm of others and coming into a blame with me. So it may be that I met, uh, one situation was I met a stranger today, didn't know them at all. They clearly weren't having a good morning and things weren't working. The payment machine didn't work and they completely lost their calm and their chaos came out and it, but it came out at me. Yeah. As I was the, the wrong customer at the wrong time asking for the wrong things. And actually, I just stood there and empathized yeah. and said, wow, this sounds like you're having a tough time. Yeah, and I remember doing that. And she was able to then say, I've had a really bad morning. This isn't great. I don't feel yeah. good. I didn't even want to come here today. I shouldn't have come here. It's just like a verbal <laughs> diarrhea, just yeah. all those words coming out, all that feeling though. I was sensing the vibration and the feeling, not the words. And when she got it out, you could feel just everything settling. But she um, was heard. You gave her that I've been heard, just like I have with the girls. Uh, yeah. You've been heard. It's just about holding space, isn't it? I said, all you may be, I said, do you feel better? She said, oh, 
I do actually. So I wanted to bring her attention in of, do you feel better now? Yeah. And she said, yeah, I do actually. And I said, maybe you just needed someone to hold your space for that couple of minutes. You know, and, and then I said, it. hope you have a better day. And she's like, my parents are coming and this is happening. And I was like, oh, okay, so it's the bigger picture here. You're feeling overwhelmed. I said, maybe go and just put yourself in a room for a couple of minutes and take some time out. And she said, if only I could. Wow. So we create our own reality. We create our own world. We create our own story. And it's how do we bring ourselves back in? And for me, I had to breathe in those moments because that was an energy attack. Yeah. And I could have absorbed that in. I'm seeing it now as energy attacked. And like you say, if you allow that energy to come in and you allow yourself to feel attacked and you become victimized, yeah. one, that can set off patterns that are inside of us already that are sitting dormant. So it becomes a trigger. Two, we carry that with us then. And like you say, that came out later with you and the children yeah. in a place that you didn't want it to come out because it wasn't even your stuff anyway. No. It's other people's yeah energy transfer and it's just and always being heard and being listened to and being yeah. present and then and I think we getting all want to feel heard don't we we all want yeah. to feel heard we all want to feel validated we all want to feel present and we've all got these patterns of behavior and all these different imprints from childhood and ancestral and everything's sitting there and every now and again just feel triggered there yeah and I think how we yeah. feel in our day depends on how we're going to respond to whatever's going on. Like today, I've had so much go on. It's not been any of mine. It's been other people's errors. But I've just been able to be empathetic and say, OK, that's all right. But maybe we can fix it. Like, how can we fix it? Yeah, and then check through. in with them later and said, how are you feeling? I was just calling to say, how are you, how are you doing? Yeah. It's realising we all just need that bit of holding sometimes, that space. Isn't really? it? Hmm. Oh, I'm feeling quite calm after getting that. Yeah, out. thank you. Yeah, yeah I've done my walk yeah, outside. Okay. So yeah. amazing. Wow. Chaos to calm. Happy Friday. Much calm and happy Friday to you too. Have and an I'll amazing speak to you day. Day. Take yeah, care. Take care. Bye. Bye.